Hi everyone, I'm Doc Ken and welcome to my vlog entitled 7 Study Tips for Online Learners Alright, so tip number 1, when is the best time to study? So the best time to study is from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. because the brain functions 100% but of course it's uh, difficult to wake up that too early for some but if that's already your sleeping pattern that's better another one from 6 a.m. to 7 30 p.m. the brain functions 50% only and during nighttime 20% only so I suggest refrain from studying during nighttime because it will give you a hard time to focus because again the brain functions 20% only tip number two so make your own to do less why because it allows you to be productive it allows you to prioritize learning tasks depending on the level of difficulty and depending on the given deadline so this means you don't waste time uh, on the tasks that don't require uh, immediate attention so your list will help you to stay focused on the tasks that are most important to you tip number three so highlight the keywords that uh, indicate the main idea of the topic so I suggest uh, do this during synchronous session uh, during lectures and discussion so the purpose of highlighting uh, keywords is to draw attention to the most important topics discussed by your respective teachers especially uh, it can help you during your review it will be easier for you to review the topics or to study uh, the lesson again moreover focusing on essentials or highlighted parts will also give you more time to study or review other lessons from other subjects tip number four so what color helps learning so using the right color in studying can positively affect the behavior and attention when learning so based on the studies green is a good color on keeping long-term concentration clarity efficiency and focus on learning so i suggest that use color green when highlighting different concepts and key concepts on your modules all right so tip number five how can you know when you truly understand a topic so the best way to know if you have already understood a topic is if you can explain it using your own words and you can also provide examples for example science science is a systematic body of knowledge based on careful observation and experimentation so if you cannot understand systematic the tendency is you'll be having a hard time to understand what science is so there is a high probability that the student will just memorize what science is without understanding it so if you cannot understand a certain word google it then if you have already understood the topic try to explain it using your own words by analyzing the statement itself then from there come up with a real life example tip number six so according to learning uh, pyramid students are able to retain 90 percent of their learning if they're able to teach others so the most common um, way to teach other is peer tutoring and the, the best place is a study group however it's very difficult to do that in this kind of setup so i suggest that you just uh, recite or recite it out loud what you have learned in front of a wall as an imaginary audience and lastly tip number seven so based on the research studies for long-term learning retention you have to read it seven times especially for those um, students or graduates will be taking the board exam yes you heard it right you have to read it seven times for long-term learning retention all right so seven study tips for online learners one best time to study in the morning and if you can 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. number two make your own to-do list for time management three highlight the important keywords Four, use green color in highlighting the important keywords in your modules five explain the lesson using your own words six 
teach others or by just reciting it out loud. Seven, read it seven times. So that concludes the lesson for today. Thank you for watching.